Isa sa mga word problems sa calculus ay yung pag-solve ng optimization problems. And there are some series of steps na pwede natin uh, tandaan para makapag-solve tayo ng mga problems involving optimization. Unang-una, we need to identify the known and unknown quantities and we should only use one variable kapag gumagamit tayo ng mga problems involving optimization. We also need to know how to find the critical numbers which is basically finding the first derivative and setting it to zero using the sign chart and also after you finish with your work kailangan basahin niyo uli yung problem to make sure na nasagot niyo yung mga bawat tanong doon sa question so let's have our first example sa una nating example we need to find two numbers whose difference is 100 and whose product is minimized so i'm going to show you some series of steps na pwede niyo tandaan para ma-organize nyo yung pag-answer nung very simple optimization problem na tulad nito. So, yung una nating step is to write the equation based out of the problem. So, yung una nating tanong is find two numbers whose difference is 100. So, napakadaling i-set ng equation na yan. Let x be our first number and let y be our second number. Tapos, two numbers whose difference is 100 is simply put by x minus y equal to 100. So, yan yung first part ng problem natin. Wherein, iset daw natin siya sa isang variable lang. Kaya, gagawin ko, i-isolate ko si y para meron akong x equal to 100 plus y. Kasi, lagi tayong gumagamit ng one variable kapag ka magsusolve tayo ng problem using optimizations. So, now, na-isolate na natin si y dun sa other side of the equation. Yung step 2 naman is to construct your new equation para dun sa second part ng problem. Which means whose product is minimized. So we need to minimize the product of the two numbers. So ang equation ng ating second step will be x times y. Kasi yung dalawang numbers pa rin naman yung gagamitin natin. Pero ang alam natin dun sa step 1, na yung value mo ng x, esinet natin sa 100 plus y. So therefore, pwede natin siyang substitute dito sa ating step number 2. Kaya meron tayong 100y plus y squared. Which, nagawa na naman natin yung goal natin nung, um, dun sa step mga guidelines na sinabi ko na kailangan one variable lang yung gagamitin natin doon sa mga unknown functions na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng optimization problem. So, ito yung step 1. Nakuha natin yung x equal to 100 plus y. At yung second step, 100y plus y squared based doon sa second part ng question. So, hindi pa tapos yung ating optimization problem. So, Muli, yung step number 1, meron tayong equation ng 100 plus y for equal to x. At yung second step naman, ginamitan natin ng value ng x, yung y, para magkaroon tayo ng 100y plus y squared. Now, yung third step is to find the critical value or critical number based doon sa function ng ating second step. So, yung sa second step natin, yung function natin is 100y plus y squared. We just need to find the first derivative of that function, kaya meron tayong 100 plus 2y. Since kailangan natin yung critical number, set this to 0, so you will find y equals negative 50. At ito yung critical number na gagamitin natin mamaya, para makuha yung maximum or minimum noong optimization problem na ginagamitan natin kanina. So, since meron na akong y, pwede ko na rin gamitin or pwede ko na rin mahanap si x. Kasi yung y value ko is negative 50, kapag ginamit ko si step 1, makukuha ko yung x value. At yun yung gagawin ko dito sa part 2 ng step 3. Finding the value of x using step 1, so meron akong x is equal to 50. So, meron na akong alam na dalawang numbers na masasagot ko doon sa um, word problem natin kanina, so y o yung first number will be negative 50 at yung second number will be 50. Now, ang kailangan na lang natin malaman is kung na-maximized ba siya or na-minimized doon sa sign chart. So, ito yung sign chart natin. Gagamitin natin yung value ng critical number natin doon sa function na y which is negative 50. So, anything lower than negative 50 at anything higher than positive 50, um, negative 50, tingnan natin yung sign na lalabas kapag pinlogin natin yon. So, meron tayong function, which is yung derivative kanina, 100 plus 2y. So, 100 plus 2 times negative 60. Pinili ko yung negative 60, which is a number lower than negative 50. At nakita ko na negative yung sign ng aking derivative, or first derivative. At dun sa second interval naman, gagamit ako ng number higher than negative 50, ginamitan ko ng 0, which means 100 plus 0 is still a positive number. Kaya, makipapansin nyo, yung change nung direction ko is from negative 
going to positive, so therefore, meron akong local minimum, at na-prove ko yung question kanina. So, yung step number five ko is to organize my answer. So, therefore, the two numbers whose difference is 100 and whose product is minimized are 50 and negative 50. So, yan yung mga steps na gagamitin natin sa pag-optimized or sa mga problems ng optimization gaya nito. So, sa example number 2, similar siya doon sa example number 1, pero this time, sana mas, mas maintindihan nyo yung mga steps na ginamit natin. So, yung problem natin will be to find the two numbers whose sum is 23 and whose product is a maximum. So, kailangan natin mag-set or mag-gawa uh, ng equation based doon sa question. So, step 1, yung first number natin, set natin to x, at yung second number, set natin to y. So, alam natin doon sa First part ng question, we need to find two numbers whose sum is 23. Kaya meron akong x plus y equal to 23. At gusto kong i-isolate si x this time. So meron ako ngayon y equals 23 minus x. Now yung second step ko is para dun sa second part ng question which is product is a maximum. So kailangan ko ng product ng two numbers. So yung product niya will be y times x. At alam ko from my step number 1, na meron akong y equals 23 minus x, so substitute ko yung value ng y doon sa aking second step para meron akong 23x minus x squared. So notice nyo na lahat siya isang variable na lang mula sa step 1 hanggang sa step 2. At yung step number 3 is to find its critical number by finding the derivative of step number 2 and setting it to 0. So yung first derivative niya is 23 minus 2x, set it to 0, therefore x is equal to 23 over 2. So, nakuha na natin yung first number na hinahanap natin dun sa problem. Kailangan lang natin yung second number. And to find the second number, use this equation to find the value of y. So, y is equal to 69 over 2. Now, to prove if it's maximized or yung dalawang numbers natin ay na maximize sa pag-multiply natin sa kanila, gagamitan natin siya ng sign chart according to sa step number 2 or sa critical number nung step number, sorry, step number 3, which is 23 over 2. So, 23 over 2, just plug in a number less than um, 23 over 2, tapos yung greater than 23 over 2, and see kung positive or negative yung magiging number nyo or value nyo sa interval. At dun sa first set of interval ko, anything lower than 23 over 2, I chose the number 0 to plug into the functions nung derivative nyo sa step 3. So nakita ko na positive yung value ko. At dun sa kabila naman, kailangan kong kumuha ng mga numbers na higher than 23 over 2. At yun yung 12 kasi half of 23 is 11.5. So ginamitan ko siya ng 12. So meron akong 23 minus 24 which gives me a negative number. So therefore, maximum siya kasi meron akong increasing and then decreasing. Mapapansin nyo, meron akong parang uh, mountain dito kaya Ito yung, significant, ito yung aking signal na positive or meron akong maximum point. So ngayon, na-prove natin yung second part ng question na yung product niya is maximum. So in step number 5, i-organize yung sagot nyo into a sentence. So therefore, the two numbers whose sum is 23 and whose product is a maximum will be 69 over 2 and 23 over 2 based on sa solution natin.